In uh, 1991 and 92, my then production partner, Phil Lucas, and I were working to try to raise the funds to do a three-part documentary series about the history of American Indians in the U.S. military. When America became involved in World War II, it was an easy decision to once again call upon American Indian soldiers to bring their native tongues to battle. The Army Signal Corps enlisted a small group of Comanches from Oklahoma to develop and use a coded version of their language for the war in Europe. Phil passed away in 2007 and I got all the material back. It had been stored away all these years and I said, you know, I have to do something with all this work that we did. So the first thing I did was take the scripts and the research we'd done and convert it to a book which I published in 2008 called From Warriors to Soldiers. Newspaper accounts that we were preparing for a conflict, but didn't know where. And I was at the right age. And uh, more or less curiosity led me to, to uh, go into service. A hundred guys or more using their own tribal languages just spontaneously in the field made the difference. And that they, even though they may have been punished for speaking that language in boarding school, they still brought it, put it on the line, put it out there. After the first combat <coughs> engagement, Guadalcanal, that's down there in the Solomon Islands, the enemy were uh, catching, deciphering many of their uh, important messages. I started working with the National American Indian Veterans Organization and became the historian for the organization. And it kind of prompted me to just to continue, and so I pulled this together just this year. There's a companion book that goes with this in the more depth, and then this piece. And so I'm just kind of, not, I'm not a veteran myself, it's kind of one of the ways I can say thank you to Native veterans who overcame a lot of obstacles to, to provide that service.